Today's regularly scheduled North Carolina STEM Explorers will air at 12 p.m. For more than 25 years, the smartest 30 minutes on television. Get your crania in gear. It's time to play Brain Game. Competing today from Enlo High in Wake County, we have Chinmai, Margaret, Nikhil, and Sam. And from Apex Friendship High, we have Lauren, Catherine, Margo, and Zev. Welcome everyone and thanks for joining us. I'm your host Mark Roberts. This is the first game of the semifinals. We're down to four teams competing for a chance at the Brain Game Championship. It's taken a heroic effort to get here. And that's my segue into pop-up culture. Heroes is our theme. Our teams will name heroes from movies, comics, and books, and movies made from comics and books. No new ideas in Hollywood. Let's get started with heroes in pop-up culture. What friendly neighborhood superhero has been played in the movies by Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland? Spider-Man. Spider -Man. Yeah, on our team's answer is Spider-Man. Spider-Man is correct. What muggle-born proves to not only be academically brilliant, but also a gifted witch who helps destroy the Horcruxes and defeat he who must not be named? Hermione. Hermione Granger. Yeah, our team's answer is Hermione. That is correct. Steve Rogers is the first soldier to take on this role. Then Sam Wilson inherits the shield and responsibility. Who is this hero? Captain, Captain America. America. Yeah, our team's answer is Captain America. Captain America is correct. Now, this is pop-up culture for Apex Friendship. Sigourney Weaver's Ellen Ripley is the only one smart enough and strong enough to survive what title monster? She also avoided the face huggers and chest busters. This is alien. What did you say, Zez? Alien. Okay. Our team's final answer is alien. Alien is correct. The tech invented by this genius provides weapons and safety for her country's warriors. Who is this little sister to Black Panther? Um, something like Shigori, something. Can't remember the exact name. Anyone remember? Need, need an answer, Apex Friendship. Anything? You just, guys just want to pass. Sure. Okay. okay, our team's only answer is pass. All right, that goes over to Enlo if you want to take a shot. It's Shuri, Shuri right? Shuri. Yeah. Yeah, our team's final answer is Shuri. Shuri is correct. Now back to Apex Friendship for the last question in pop-up culture. When 900 years old you reach, look as good you will not. Use the force to tell us what small yet powerful hero said this. Yoda. Yoda. Yeah. Our team's final answer is Yoda. Yoda is correct. <laughs> Virtual money and a very real war are in the news. We'll begin headliners with a news network making news for its legal troubles. What former CNN host is seeking $125 million from the network, claiming he was unlawfully fired? Chris Cuomo. Right? Go for it. Our team's answer is Chris Cuomo. Chris Cuomo is correct. Name two of the countries that border Ukraine that are taking in the millions of refugees fleeing the war. Poland and Hungary? Okay. Definitely Poland. Yeah, I think Hungary borders Ukraine. Uh, our team's answers are Poland and Hungary. That works. Also Slovakia, Romania, Moldova, you got it. In a move to combat inflation, what government institution raised interest rates for the first time in more than three years? That's the Fed's job, right, Sam? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, our team's answer is the Fed. The Federal Reserve. That is correct. You gave us enough information. Good job, Enlo. All right. Now, this is Headliners for Apex Friendship. What appeals court judge did President Biden nominate for the Supreme Court? Jackson. Tangie Brown Jackson. So, yeah, Jackson. Our team's final answer is Jackson. Jackson is correct. Iran claimed responsibility for a missile attack on the U.S. consulate in what country? Was it Turkey? Um, I don't think so? If you want to guess that. Need something, Apex. Say what, Catherine? You can try it. Okay, our team's, only, our team's only answer is Turkey. Uh, that is incorrect. That goes over to Enlo if you want to take a shot, Enlo. I haven't... Saudi? It I could think there was that. a missile strike in Saudi Arabia. Okay, our team's answer is Saudi Arabia. Also incorrect, Iraq, the answer we're looking for. Now we're back to Apex Friendship for the last question in Headliners. 
President Biden signed an executive order that would give federal oversight of what type of digital monetary system? Cryptocurrency. cryptocurrency. Mm-hmm. Our team's final answer is cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is right. We'll learn the history behind some names in our trip across America, plus what people like to play in Minnesota. First, a quick college tour. What city is home to the University of Arizona? It is the second largest behind the state capitol. It's not, is it Tempe? No, Tucson. Tucson, yeah. Yeah, our team's answer is Tucson. Tucson is correct. Georgia is bordered to the south along the panhandle of what state? Florida. Florida? Yeah. Yeah. Our team's answer is Florida. Florida is correct. The debate over which territories would become slave states brought about what unofficial nickname when Kansas entered the Union in 1861? Is it bloody Kansas? Yeah, that's it, right? Yeah. Our team's answer is bloody Kansas. That is incorrect. Apex Friendship, you want to take a shot at that. I'm thinking bleeding Kansas, right? Bleeding? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's bleeding. Okay. Our team's final answer is bleeding Kansas. Also incorrect, the answer we were looking for there is the free state. All right, now across America goes to Team 2 Apex Friendship. Idaho is bordered to the south by which state with Carson City as its capital? Nevada. Nevada, yeah. Our team's final answer is Nevada. Nevada is correct. Maryland was founded by George Calvert, a baron known as Lord what? There's a city name for him. Baltimore, right, Lord Baltimore? Yeah. Our team's final answer is Baltimore. Baltimore is right. It's really not that wild that this is the official sport of Minnesota. Um, Could it be football? Because the Vikings are Need something, Apex. Anything on this one, Apex? I'm just going to pass. Okay, our team's final answer is pass. All right, that goes over to Enlo if you want to take a shot. It's got to be hockey, right? Oh, if it's wild, it's probably hunting. What about ice fishing? Like, what if, what if, <laughs> my uh, I need something. I think, but I wouldn't. Love the deliberations, need something. Our team's answer is funny. Hockey is correct and good deliberation. When we return, Word Power has clowns to the left, jokers to the right. Brain Game will be right back. <laughs> 